channel my name is Nala Andrea and today we're gonna to be doing a holiday makeup tutorial full face routine so fun to film because I've used so many products that I've been loving recently and some tips and tricks then please please like comment and subscribe on this video I truly truly appreciate all of you that sit and watch and support my content if you don't follow me on social media please do it's hey Nala on Instagram and Twitter so I'm so excited. I don't want to talk too much. I really want you guys to get into this video. Grab your notepad, your popcorn, grab your boo. I know they want to watch it too. So see you guys soon. So we're going to work on this eye. As you can see, my right eye has been slayed already. So we're going to work on my left eye. And we're going to start with our amazing, amazing Jackie Ina palette. As you guys know, I've talked about this palette. I actually did a video. If you want to check out my last video, I definitely did a first review really on this palette. It's amazing. This is like my third time really playing in it. I still, still, still haven't played in it too much just because I want to keep it nice and pretty, you guys. I want to keep it cute. I don't want this because it's already a limited edition palette and I already have a couple of other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes and I just want this one to be the cute one, the one that stays, you know, intact. We're going to take for our first shade, we're going to take Edges, which is this really, really cute orange transition shade for the girls. I'm going to be using this BH Dirty Busted Up brush. Okay, you guys, please don't come for me. So I'm going to take some of that. You already know the deal and we're just gonna go ahead and just stamp that on just like so this shade is so pigmented and, and it just comes up it's a perfect transition shade honestly this whole palette is just amazing for brown skin girls and as you can see how like lovely that blends out Okay, edges. Okay, we're coming for edges today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm actually just going to work today, so I'm probably going to wear this look to work because it is bomb, and I think it's going to look so cute when it's all said and done. Credit. And credit is this really pretty brown, okay? This brown on top of edges is gonna give us the definition. Okay, the 3D vibe that we're going for. And we're just gonna take that and pat that into the crease and kind of around it. And then we just start blending that out. Oh girl, can you see her? You can really see her show up. Sometimes, you know, you know a palette isn't that black girl friendly because Everything just starts looking muddy and every all the colors start mixing together. It's just not a cute situation, girl. And shout out to Jackie for giving us what we needed. Because I'm in love with this palette. And we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. And I'm using a Morphe M514 brush. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the kind of brush I'm using. And it's just a small, really small blended eye brush. And we like to rock back and forth. You already know the deal. And I like to go upwards too. Don't be afraid to go into that crease, like how we started off with edges. Don't be afraid to go up in there. This is just gonna come all together. And we're just gonna go back and forth. Okay. It looks good to me. We don't want to go overboard. We don't want to overdo it, honey. Okay, we don't want to be looking crazy like raccoons out here. So now we're going to take our concealer brush. This is a Mikasa Beauty brush. It's just a flat concealer brush. I love it. I'm also going to take the Makeup Revolution Concealer. E13.5 is the shade that I'm using. Actually, I really, really love this shade. Um, this is what I put down on my eyelids when I first started the look. And this is what I'm gonna be cutting my crease with. So we're gonna take that. 
And we're just gonna start to outline what areas we wanna focus on. And that's all around. And I like to look up and down just so we make sure that we're cutting the crease co correctly. We're cutting the crease correctly because we don't want our concealer shades to mess up everything that we just worked and blended very, very hard for, girl. I know. Hooded eyelids. Girls, I see y'all. I'm with y'all. My heart is with y'all. You got this. Just make sure you go get the brushes you need. Make sure you're double checking and make sure you're looking up and around so you don't um, crease all over the place. You really don't want to crease because it's just going to ruin everything that you did. So as we can see, we're pretty safe. We're pretty safe so far. So let's keep going. And it's kind of dried on us already. The Makeup Revolution concealers do dry pretty fast. So you really have to get in there after you've set it. I mean, after you've laid it down on whatever you're doing, even if it's like your under eye concealer, it will set honey and honestly i like that because it just brings a flawless finish i feel like when it takes forever to dry down is when it starts creasing and it's just a mess honey a mess i don't want that i'm not here for that i didn't sign up for it i'm okay down our final shade which is going to be zam <laughs> we're gonna lay down zam she knew what she was doing. That's exactly how I feel when I look at this shade. It's like, damn, damn. It's just so good and pigmented, girl. I don't care if it gets all over the place. It's just such a nice and pretty rosy golden color. Watch this, watch. <laughs> Woo! Y'all, I'm obsessed. If y'all really think I'm being like over dramatic right now, I'm really not because this is really, that shit. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh wow. Can you see how well that just applied to my lid? Oh. I don't know. I want to add some more on this side. Ooh, child. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help it. Okay, it's kind of looking like one side is a little bit more pigmented than the other, but maybe, I don't know. We won't worry about it. You guys get the gist. We want bold, we want color, and we want dimension. Can y'all feel me right there? We want bold, we want color, and we want dimension, okay? So we want to pop, we want to have flavor, and we want to look real. <laughs> we want to be real so this is so so cute as you can guys can see how well that turned out oh my goodness oh wow okay so we're gonna move on those were the eyes how easy was that like that was honestly like a three-step if you guys can catch on you just need your transition shade which was edges we had our crease shade which was credit and that gave us a bit of dimension. And then we have our pop-up color, our pop-up glam, which really brings it all together, which was Zam. And that was our rosy gold glittery shade right here in the corner. And that's how, I mean, that, that was it. I take some of our duo lash glue. I know, I know. Don't come for me. I love this because it has an applicator instead of like the cream ones where you have to squeeze out and you make a mess. I just can't, honey. I, I don't even have the patience anymore. I just don't. So we just blow. We gonna apply. And then we gonna apply.
honestly trying to put lashes on has been the hardest especially if you have curly lashes like myself which where they just kind of <laughs> curl upwards and they're not straight and they're not downward lashes or at all they're very very curly so it's hard to actually get the lashes to sit on top of my lid because i have so many curly lashes that are in the way if you have this problem i really like to use a eyelash curler and just use it upside down i actually learned that tip from it's my ray ray like a long time ago and it actually works so my curly lashes get on my nerves girl i ain't gonna lie to you but yeah that's how you do that <laughs> So I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Provision Mascara. I love this mascara. It's really big too. It really covers my lashes like how I like them. And it just blends so well. I'm gonna move on to the face and then I'll come back to you guys and let you know how I feel about the entire look. <laughs> guys, I love it. So I'm gonna go get cute real quick. I'm not, this ain't it right here, honey. We, we in a holiday spirit. So I'm gonna get cute and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how this whole look would look when you out getting your eat on, when you gonna get your turkey on, when you gonna get your Black Friday shopping on. This is all that, let's get it. <laughs> 